Blood, the red fluid that keeps us alive. Our blood type is one of the many things we inherit from our parents. But what does it mean and how does it affect your medical care? This is extended and it will explain to you what does your blood type mean and how rare it is. Like eye color and hair color, we also inherit our blood type from our parents. Doctors use a few different classification systems to group our blood into types. But ABO system and our RH status are the most important. Your blood can be type A, B, AB, or O, and each one of those types can be either RH positive or RH negative, giving eight possible blood types. Many of us may not even know what type of blood we have, so does it really matter? What does having different blood types mean for us? Well, according to the Red Cross, someone in the US needs a blood transfusion every two seconds. Your blood type affects how healthcare professionals respond if you should need a blood transfusion. Let's find out why. The presence or lack of A and B antigens on the surface of your red blood cells determines your ABO blood type. An antigen is typically any substance that triggers a response from your immune system, usually an attack to ward off the foreign antigen invader. Our red blood cells are covered in hundreds of known antigens, like sugars or proteins, that our immune system totally ignores. These are sometimes called self-antigens. But if our immune system encounters blood antigens it doesn't recognize, even if they are totally normal blood antigens for somebody else, it could register those antigens as uninvited guests and launch an attack. Someone with type A blood has only the A antigen on their red blood cells, while someone with type B blood has only the B antigen. Those with type AB blood have both, and those with type O blood have neither. So not all blood types mix well together. We call people with O negative blood the universal donor. Anyone can receive O negative blood no matter what blood type they have. That's why emergency room doctors always give O negative blood to trauma patients, when there's not enough time to determine blood type. On the other hand, a person with AB positive blood is known as a universal recipient because if you have AB positive blood, you are in luck because you can take any blood of any type in case you need a blood transfusion. But all other parents are not so universal. People with type O negative blood, for example, can only receive blood from other type O negative people. People with type B positive blood are a little more accepting. They can receive blood from anyone with type O or type B blood, positive or negative. RH status indicates whether you have the recess D protein on your red blood cells or not. We inherit our RH status genetically, just like our ABO type and any ABO blood type can be either RH positive or negative. Rhesus it's a type of adorable monkey known for its ability to live around humans. With a little digging, we learned that this antigen was originally named after the rhesus monkey because when it was first discovered in 1937, scientists thought it was similar to an antigen found in the red blood cells of rhesus macaques. This turned out later not to be true, but by then the use of the term was so widespread that the name stuck. If someone with a blood type that does not produce a rhesus D antigen is given blood type that does contain the D antigen, the person's immune system might produce anti-D antigens to fight those proteins off. So Rh negative blood can be given to either Rh positive or Rh negative patients. But Rh negative patients can only receive blood that is also Rh negative. The Stanford Blood Center gives estimates of how rare versus how common different blood types in the ABO system are. Most common are type O positive and type A positive, which each make up around 35% of the population. 
Another way to think about this percentage is that in a group of three people, one of them is likely to be O positive. The rarest blood types are B negative, only 1 in 67 people have B negative blood, and AB negative, only 1 in 167 people have AB negative blood. O negative blood, that universal donor that we need for emergency situations, only circulates in 1 in 15 of us. According to the Red Cross, 8% of white people have type O negative blood, and that percentage decreases to 4% for black people, and 4% for Hispanic people, and only 1% for Asian people. And looking just at our age status, only 15% of the population has our age negative blood. Your blood type can affect whether or not mosquitoes like to bite you. Type O blood is twice as attractive to the pests than type A blood. But more research is needed to determine if blood type affects whether or not you are more prone to attracting head lice. More recently, doctors have been under tremendous pressure to figure out what causes some people to be asymptomatic carriers of COVID-19, while others have much more severe symptoms, requiring hospitalization and even leading to death. One potential differentiating factor they've investigated is blood type. As we record this video, the evidence is still conflicting. Researchers in China first reported in March 2020 that patients with type A blood were more likely to contract the virus. So are you curious about your own blood type? Your doctor may have your blood type on record. Pregnant women are often typed to determine their RH status and you've likely been typed if you have received a blood transfusion. But blood typing is not standard practice for most patients. There are at home do-it-yourself blood typing kits, and most blood banks will tell you your blood type when you donate blood. Now, some will even tell you if you have antibodies for COVID-19.